Abused immigrants and the struggles they face in the United States is what I did my family violence final paper and PowerPoint on. Domestic violence does not discriminate against race, class, ethnic, economic, or religious lines. However, the implications are specifically devastating among immigrants who are victims of violence and abuse. Issues specific to abused immigrant women, fear of abuse, deportation, distrust in abuse reporting in the United States, cultural and language barriers, isolation from being with family and home country, the justice system, Women are dependent of their husbands when they come to America. No freedom to get independent documentation without their husband because they're dependents. And it causes women to stay and be abused and possibly subject their children to abuse as well. Language and cultural barriers. Inadequate language proficiency. They can't seek support. They don't understand their rights. Their immigration status is not permanent and they can be terrified to be deported, like I said in the last slide. Their conditions for vulnerability stay high. Learning the English language is rare because the abuser doesn't let them get out and as dependents, they don't have any rights, they don't know where to go. So they remain dependent on their abuser. They can't form new relationships and voicing their abuse and their experience, um, they can't because they don't, they're not well educated with the English language. Different cultural norms. Patriarchy, so the male is the head of the household, he makes all the decisions. Gender inequalities, normalization of abuse, the roles of women and men in the household. The women stay home, they don't work, they cook, clean, take care of the kids, take care of the husband. The husband makes the money, makes all the decisions, he's the controller of the household. And none of that is a cultural norm in the U.S. Why come to America? Families come from countries where there are different norms to have a better life here. They want to come here for better job opportunities to make money and send back to their families in their home countries. Um, they want better life for their kids. Uh, like I just said, freedom and better lives and there's better opportunities here. Domestic violence does not discriminate. Families come to America for a better life. Cultural barriers are very strong. Rights and laws for migrants limit the available protection that they get from the government. Cultural norms are not changed when cultural norms are not changed when they come here from different countries. So uh, the male is head of household in another country. While well, they move here, he's still head of household and has all the power and control. The textbook talks about um, the Violence Against Women Act. It started in 1994 and it has been reauthorized four times since it was enacted in the 90s. Um, and slowly it's protected more cultures like American Indians and tribal nations, um, tribes in Alaska and here in the lower 48 uh, and slowly working its way up to protect present day issues and people who were not or are not protected. That's it.